Hi, I'm Silvio. Every Christmas village builder, sooner or later, struggles with the impossibility to find what is needed to finalize a new idea. <laughs> Simply because Lemax or Department 56 or Dickens Village or whatever collection you are using doesn't offer everything you need to be original. The hunt for new items, uh, figurines or simply raw materials may take a lot of time. That's why it is very important to start planning for the new season months in advance. Let me do an update on what I have found. Hi guys, well, welcome to this new video. Or if I need to be more precise, welcome to this new update concerning a video I posted around uh, the first days of January, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, it was the first days of January. Uh, so just uh, some days before dismantling my last Christmas village. <laughs> and I'm still sad about that. Anyway. I told you my intention to add an important section dedicated to a wharf, to an arbor. And I also refined a little bit my sketch because I realized it was practically impossible to see anything having just printed black uh, on a white. So all along this section, the blue section here, I intend to place some uh, buildings and everything else, figurines and everything else. Here we have the uh, wood arbor, maybe not this short, maybe a little longer, I don't know yet. This is just a sketch. Uh, plain water here, still need to decide if I will go with simulated water or real water, but I'm struggling with some new techniques, with just some new ideas uh, with water, and they are still far to be uh, usable right now so I need <laughs> some more uh, thought about that. Here all along the yellow section I told you I had the intention to place an arbor market uh, without uh, arcade niches obviously with all the shops here or maybe an historical ancient park with some ancient statues, Greek, maybe Roman statues, uh, one in each niche. Or maybe the two together, one marble market there and a little far uh, away uh, an ancient uh, uh, historical park. Still, uh, I still have some doubts about it, but the two maybe, co maybe coexist together or maybe one or the other so <laughs> very imprecise right now but it is how i proceed every year step by step eliminating or adding something or mm, deciding to <laughs> remove everything and uh, restart from point zero anyway an arbor an arbor a wharf need a boat and i told you about the impossibility to find on the market Right now, from last year, two years ago, or even next uh, year, collection, Lemax collection, a boat. Simply because A, uh, Lemax Caddington collection never had a boat among the items. Every boat came from the Lemax Plymouth Arbor, Plymouth collection. So Plymouth Collection a little bit uh, modern, but boats can be adapted to fit the Caddington, the uh, Victorian era uh, village. The problem, no boats at all on the market uh, since 2011, 2012, and they are very rare on the market. Fortunately, I've found online, on eBay, yes, on eBay, a seller from Arizona, USA, that had this item on sale. This is 
from Plymouth Collection. This is an item about the Golden Eagle, to be more precise, that uh, has been on uh, Lemax Collection from 2005 to 2011. So, 10 years from its retirement, and I found it. The seller, sorry, but not very serious seller, uh, told me the item was completely new with no problem at, so, at all. Just uh, some uh, leftover from uh, all the collection he had. But uh, as you can see, the box is missing some plastic here because it came with the plastic completely ruined, completely cracked, completely broken. And also it didn't protect it very well, the package, so the boat came a little damaged. Here I had to make some adjustments. Uh, here it was completely broken in two parts. I had to use super glue uh, once again. It was broken here and broken here. You can uh, see that I've used the super glue there. But this is a rare, a very rare item, so I didn't uh, uh, refuse it and resend it back. But I, uh, I <laughs> still have it and I intend to use it m maybe to, uh, add, to make some mm, restyle, to, uh, to repaint everything, something to be repainted and it is missing also this part here from this side. So the seller, not a very good seller. Obviously I, uh, I made a negative uh, feedback. I g g gave him a negative feedback. He can't send, uh, especially because he knew uh, the item needed to be shipped from USA to Europe <laughs> to Italy and uh, every item from USA will be uh, shipped to uh, um, Netherlands, then from Netherlands to the rest of Europe. A very long uh, trip, a very long voyage and you can't just simply put uh, this box inside a uh, carton box without the protections and everything moving and everything cracking this is this two was detached i needed to re-glue so uh anyway this gave the both an ancient look yes the light is uh, functioning obviously i will replace uh, this uh, Mm, uh, this box here as always uh, cutting the cables and the wires and using my usual way to um, get them lighted inside I have a mm, very yellow uh, light and I still need to reproduce this missing part here from the other side uh, still adding the time to do it but it is the Golden Eagle and it will be a great addition to the wharf section there in plain water. And it has also, uh, yes, you can see uh, here, Lamax Collection 2005, the first year it was on the market. So rare item, I will use it uh, obviously, but uh, it isn't enough for the uh, wharf section for the arbor section and I can't find anything else online from Lemax or everything uh, uh, else uh, by the way Golden Eagle uh, Schooner okay um, Caddington era collection Victorian era can this be uh, put it inside a an Victorian era, of course, yes, wood, everything else, uh, yes, it is uh, well suited. But I need some more boat, and fortunately I found online on Amazon, to be more precise, this kit. This is a, a, a kit for kids, sorry for the joke um, intended to let them build a boat uh, 
an ancient boat yes and from the same era maybe from the same era of Caddington and it needed to be uh, built from scratch here you have inside some uh, colors some and everything else is uh, plain uh, wood as you can see every pieces and here is the main uh, main board a little shorter yes but this was a uh, schooner so a very big boat for the era this may be a little um, a little um, shorter a little shorter in length a little smaller uh, I don't uh, think it is important this will be plain wood I still need to uh, mount the kit everything but I will do lately and it will be a good uh, addition to the uh, arbor section maybe one completely mounted to be like this one I don't think I will go with the same colors uh, maybe I will change some uh, colors there uh, because <laughs> I don't need to be precisely as it is here I surely will not use those colors <laughs> and everything else oh, also the kit uh, comes with uh, uh, some uh, glue some vanillic glue there it won't be enough I think for uh, the whole project and uh, a brush for painting but it is uh, some way too large to paint precisely every details so I will use my um, my brushes and uh, a little notice Uh, detailing uh, it is in uh, German because uh, it is from a company from uh, Germany uh, the notice is or French or uh, German uh, so very quick uh, um, notice on every pieces you need to uh, to um, build together with no precise instruction so it will be some sort of uh, uh, I'll try to do it but without precise notice on how to do it but it is intended to be fun for kids so I will have to mount everything so I was thinking maybe one uh, complete and one still in construction like that with some wood uh, a boat uh, on the process of being builded I don't know Mm, yes but this is one of my idea but I will surely add this both uh, to the session with this both here and I have both mm, two of them obviously one will be entirely built the other one still in the process to be built right now I miss some figurines some arbor figurines because there aren't very much arbor figurines from uh, the uh, represented some I don't know sailors some captains some uh, harbor workers and everything else so I will add it together next thing I talk about a ancient historical park let me show what I found online and it was very very hard because every uh, ancient god's statues sold online are very very tall these one are just some millimeters maybe a couple of uh, centimeters uh, taller than the original lemax figurines and it is very important not to have uh, uh, 12 inches or 20 inches figurines representing a god uh, together with normal eight uh, figurines from Lemax and as always I will use the nun as a comparison between uh, figurines so this is uh, correctly uh, usable because the uh, statues are just a little bigger than the uh, normal uh, figurines and this is good as a point of view as a representation 
normally people from the ancient times made uh, statues a little bigger than uh, the human body was simply because the gods were superior were supposed to be superior to uh, humans be human beings so they always build them bigger than uh, reality and obviously there were there were also gigantic statues like uh, uh, like many statues in the past but I think this is a good uh, compromise for adding a um, historical park to my wharf section my arbor section or maybe uh, a, a, se a section dedicated just to an ancient park and if you are um, thinking what the hell Greece with all the museums, with all the historical mo monuments, with all the statues are always depicted in plain sun, in plain uh, summer, with, uh, with uh, uh, sun uh, bright in the sky, yes, <laughs> but also Greece and the ancient Greece had and have uh, today's uh, winters with snow and he, simply because every movies every instagram pictures always depicted uh, greece during uh, uh, summer but <laughs> even if they are in uh, south europe uh, nearly to nearly <laughs> um, some just some miles uh, from africa they still uh, are in europe and snow can also be um present in winters in Greece and if you don't believe me let me just add some uh, pictures for you right now So as uh, you have just seen, uh, snow in winters in Greece is very, very possible. Uh, let me just remember you one thing, that it is true that ancient uh, Greece is way before Roman time, even 3000 years before Roman time, but it is also true that all the uh, ancient uh, Greek gods were also present in uh, Roman mythology so the names may vary but <laughs> their function was uh, the same those are Greek gods and goddess very difficult to find them as I told you especially with the right dimension but I found them. they are resin statues uh, painted in uh, bronze okay so uh, resin so plastic uh, but also design uh, Veronese design Veronese is a co Veronese design is a company uh, that uh, uh, produce uh, statues and everything else inspired by Paolo Veronese that is the painter from uh, 1500 uh, that uh, painted um, marriage at Cana a very famous and gigantic uh, painting and uh, they said those are inspired by the vividity of the paintings from Paolo Veronese but they are uh, modern design of course so the statues I have here Poseidon Poseidon for the Greeks um, Neptune for the Romans God of the sea God of the sailors uh, with uh, depicted here half human half uh, uh, fish here with uh, waves with his uh, trident here and very powerful uh, god a brother of uh, Zeus of Jupiter kings of the gods so here is one the second one here I have uh, Artemis for the Greeks uh, Diana for the Romans, goddess of the ant, 
uh, here depicted with these uh, bow and arrows and a little deer here. Next one is Hera or for the Greeks or uh, Juno for the uh, Romans. Uh, goddess of uh, the marriage, goddess of fertility, goddess of uh, unions uh, and here depicted with a peacock here. Next one, oops, sorry, next one is Ares, Ares for the Greeks, Mars for the Roman, god of the violence, god of the war here depicted with his shield and he is a golden uh, sword here next one next one the most fabulous goddess aphrodite for the greeks or venus for the um for the romans goddess of uh, fertility goddess of love goddess of uh, protector of uh, young uh, virgins in the past here depicted with uh, some uh, bird ear with some water and a shell ear as always depicted in uh, the ancient uh, days because uh, it was uh, his birth was from the water from the sea goddess of the beauty and the love Zeus for the Greeks, uh, Jupiter for the Romans, kings of the gods, here depicted with his eagle, golden eagle, and his lighting in his gold lighting in his left hand, lighting used to punish uh, humans and for their crimes, for their uh, not believing the gods always depicted like that. Next one, uh, Hestia for the Greeks or Vesta for the Romans, goddess of the home, yeah, depicted with some uh, fire. The fire was very important in every home at that time because it means the, uh, the only way to cook. Next one, Oh yes, Athena uh, for the Greeks or um, Minerva for uh, the uh, Romans, a goddess of the military strategy with his uh, shield and his uh, spear there, and also goddess of the wisdom here represented by a hole, and a hole from the ancient mythology always represented uh, some sort of wisdom so here another important uh, um, goddess also goddess of justice next statue uh, Dem Demeter for the Greeks or Ceres for the uh, uh, Romans goddess of the harvest goddess of the uh, earth here represented by some vegetables and some uh, flowers here and also cornucopy here with inside cornucopy is a symbol of prosperity next one apollo one of the main gods here represented with a lyra here apollo it is the same for the greeks and the romans uh, gods of music, gods of art, gods of poetry, uh, bringer of the sun. Uh, everyone remembers the chariot of Apollo, so very important uh, god. Next one is Hermes. Hermes was the messenger of the gods. Here with his uh, uh, golden eagle also as a messenger for uh, um, Jupiter with uh, wings on the helmet, uh, wings on the ankle, you are represented on a, a cloud because it was the uh, it was flying, he was the god of uh, speed, the messenger of the gods. And Hermes for the Greek 
and Mercury for the Romans. Last one, Hephaestus for the Greeks and a Vulcan for the Romans. God of the fire, God of the blacksmiths, God of the uh, of the uh, science of the uh, industry, everything. Uh, they also had industry at that time. Here depicted with some fire in his hand and a uh, armor, a uh, uh, hammer. Sorry, a hammer used to forge. Uh, weapons so it was also the god of the weapons and that's all I think I think I will use all of them or just some of them but here I have a 12 ancient gods it will be a perfect historical park with all those uh, gods here obviously I will need to place Zeus or Jupiter in a higher place because it was the king of the gods there are plenty of other ancient gods minor gods but these are the olympus main 12 uh, gods last thing before going with something else i found online these very you i think these will be very useful this is uh, uh, for cake decorating i know cake decorating is very far from uh, christmas village but here i have a mold for some ancient greek uh, columns and it will be very useful to use uh, with the greek statues here because obviously no lemax collection has a building as something concerning ancient uh, Greek temples or ancient Greek buildings but with this mold here I will be able to create uh, something ancient something Greek all around the, um, the uh, statues here it is ancient columns silicon mold mm. It is from Ketisu Design Ltd, an English company, and not very frequently found online, but I found it, and on Amazon, obviously this one. Also, those two boats here were, were found on Amazon, and uh, this is used to build some very beautiful cakes inspired by the gods, uh, etc. Uh, very. <laughs> Uh, let me pass the term uh, very kitsch but uh, it is used to make some beautiful cakes so wedding cakes especially so different types of columns this is the top of the column this is the bottom bottom and top obviously just half the column but uh, i will show you in the next months that even with just half uh, mold you can have uh, a complete uh, column and here we have two different type of columns here a columns divided with uh, some blocks here a full entire columns this one is full entire columns this one is uh, made from different uh, blocks and also the painting of this one will be interesting and also uh, once I build them I will need to break uh, some of the columns to simulate the ancient, the, the past, uh, the, the time past, etc, uh, etc. Et so one other um, addition I found online. And this wasn't planned, but when I found it, I did, oh yeah, good idea. I could have some uh, items surrounding the statues instead of just an arcade niche. And I wasn't sure I would haven't found a Greek temple, a Greek uh, or Roman temple or Greek temple or a Roman or a Greek building from any collection, nor uh, not from Lemax, nor from uh, Department 56, nor from anyone else. But I want this statue. The problem, not very attractive 
status you can see that here i have some idea of red here some idea of gold the rest will be plain bronze here some idea of blue i want them more colored i know uh, those are supposed to be ancient statues so damaged by time but i don't care i want some more colors on them i will add some more colors even Ceres here, even Demetra here, with some vegetables, green, uh, red flowers here, always blue there. There weren't many colors representing gods at the time, red, blue, they were using natural color uh, derived from the sea, from uh, the, uh, from the uh, little animals, uh, little uh, bugs, etc. So colors were not uh, very um, they ha hadn't a very large amount of uh, colors but blue, gold, uh, bronze and red etc will be also here with Mars why not use a plain red here, gold here, gold in the center and gold there with some red here and some more blue in the uh, on the cape there I will try to modify them to add some more colors to them right now. Obviously I will use uh, matte colors but then I will have to add some gloss on them because those statues are very uh, glossy. Let me just do a pose right now and I will see you just after with uh, the painting of the uh, statues. See you right now. Here we are. So let's start. Uh, let's start about talking about uh, colors. Here I have a real gold color. Uh, here I have some bronze, and here also some other uh, brand of uh, bronze color. I don't know yet uh, what to choose. Here I have some other. Uh, gold but this is I think this is too goldish to yellow no let's try to see what I have here inside let's see here what I have here let's try to make a test a little test about colors okay let's test the color here This one is like that. Okay. Maybe not too good. Let's test this other one here. This other one here, maybe a little too yellow. Yes, too yellow. No, I won't use this one. Okay, so let's go with this one. The real gold here. And uh, let me just try to uh, make more vivid the colors of uh, the statues let me go with this one here and i will start with Hephaestus or vulcan if you are roman and let me add some gold here yes let me add some gold to the hammer here i'm going with a very small brush oops sorry for the camera let me just readjust the camera here, yes, I'm going with gold here on the hammer. It's a very very precise job that you need to do with a very small brush of course. Here we go, 
sorry if I'm silent sometime but I need to get precise here let me just add some more gold here yes like that almost a dry brush because I want also some black here to be visible here too I just want to create some contrast here okay so already this is the good gold and you can see that I already have some contrast between the original color and the hammer here I don't want it to be precise but or to be plain color because this is supposed to be ancient so I'm going very gentle here okay sometimes I also need to clean a little bit there I'm cleaning here okay so the armor is gold now then this is a uh, work armor so it is supposed to be a little uh, ruined by the time and i think that this is good for the gold here uh, let me wash a little bit my brush here yes like that good and then i'm going for the first time with this kind of red here i never use this uh, this color here very hard to open yes good god it's a very intense color of red okay let me just do some red here let me just check no i don't think i will go with this red you can see that it is too purple no it is too purple i will not use this red here let me just go and get some other or oh, oh, some other red sorry so here I am back I brought some more red here let me just check some other <coughs> so here I am back with some more red let's check this kind of red it is a uh, more almost uh, um, orange or less purple red let me see what kind of red I have here I will try this one this one here I will try this one here okay let's continue let me just add some red here like that and then also some red here
I'm going almost as a dry brush I hope you can see that I'm going almost a dry brush here. Okay. Okay, that's more visible than previous one. Okay, some more color here. The hammer is more goldish, and I like it. Then uh, Vulcan or Festus worked in very hard condition, so it isn't the most elegant god of every um, of all. So uh, I don't need to be as precise as you may think I need to be so let me just close this one because it is too purple then let me wash the uh, brush here and let me go with the front with the front you can see that I already have some light blue here all along the uh, robe there I have some light blue so I'm going this time too with some light blue, some very, very dry brush blue. Okay, this one, first time I use this type of blue. Let me see what it is intended to be on some plastic. Yes, I'm going very, very, very gentle, very, very dry brush here too. And I'm going this way too. I'm adding some blue there. Here too, I am adding some more blue. Not too much. Not too much, but anyway, I will do it. Okay. From behind, no need to add some more color here. Too much. 
let me clean it very quickly. Okay, and I think for Vulcan or Ephesus it will be that. Okay, let me just show you here. I have some more contrast here. The, the robe, the gold ear, some more red ear. Uh, let me just bring another statue here. You can see that with some more colors. Here it is more beautiful. The statue will be more interesting that's done for Hephaestus. Let's go with some more here. Here we have Poseidon. Yes, let me just bring some other god here. Okay, here we go with uh, uh, Hermes, with Mercury. Okay, some blue here and there. Okay, let's go with some more blue there. Festus and Hermes or Mercury are done. Let me go with. Uh, oh yes. Let me go with uh, uh, Aphrodite. Let me go with uh, Venus. Okay. Blue here. Some more red here on the robe here. Some more blue, uh, gold here and there. Okay. Yes. No crown here, yes, jewel red, blue, yes, let me go. Okay, wash the brush. <laughs> Hira or Juno.
talking good, keep talking sweet, keep sugar raw, baby. I got you good, I got you sweet, got you on hold. My baby knows, baby knows what I'm all about, what I'm all about. My baby knows, my baby knows what I'm all about, what I'm all about. Keep moving fast, keep moving slow, keep rhythm, my baby. You got me good, you got me sweet. Good. The blue is there. Much more market there because it is the king of the gods. So much more color for him. And red, blue, gold. No crown at all for Jupiter, for Zeus. And that's it. Done. Okay. Now I have to do some gloss. How will I proceed? Let me just... Oops, sorry. As always, I'm making some mess. I've colored my finger in plain red, but I will wash my hand later. So let's close some colors here. blue and green done now the gloss is here let me check with you Ula. I will need I will need something. Be right back, guys. So here I am again. I brought here a little container. Okay, some gloss here. Let me check the consistency of the gloss. Okay, I will go little by little. I don't know which one I will use. Which brush I will use. Let me go with this one. And let's start with the first I've done. Yeah, already. Yes. So let me do some gloss finish there.
be quick on the red because it tends to wash out so very quickly on the red Let me just retake here. Everything is done. Yes. Yes. Good. That's all guys, and uh, let me just clean a little bit and I will see you for the outro, thanks, bye. 
And that was how a quick and simple update can become a long tutorial on small statues painting. At least you won't be forced to watch it in the next few months when all these little precious things will be added to my new village. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.